Hey, Schmezats, we're here at the opening night party of Ever After. That was the wrong <laughs> musical, sorry. We haven't quite learned the <laughs> melodies yet. Oh, but, but give me that cast recording. Yeah. <laughs> we just got our picture taken. We're famous. Patty and Emily Thoughts and Comedy from Broadway Super Fans. From Broadway Super Fans. Okay. Ladies who love theater. Congratulations, the show is wonderful. Oh, thank you. We We're so glad you're here. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you for writing it. Oh, it's our pleasure. <laughs> Besides this show that you wrote, what's your favorite female empowerment musical? Oh my gosh. Let's see. I don't even... Oh, there are so many. There are so many. I would say Evita. I love Evita. It's a great one. Yeah. My Fair Lady, I think. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. Can, can you bench press James Snyder? I am certainly going to try. Everyone wants to try. How does it feel to know that one of your songs is being sung in every cabaret in America every five minutes? Well, no, I mean, we really we, we really enjoy having people, seeing all the videos that people send us, and it's, it's always, you know, it makes you feel like a proud mom. <laughs> it's a songwriter's dream. I mean, that's why we write them, so people will sing them, so. Absolutely. Well, we're so excited to see this full show from you, ladies. So, so good. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're here with Tony Sheldon. Congratulations. Thank you very much. The show is wonderful. We loved it. Oh, yes. Great. So, besides this show, what's your favorite female empowerment musical? My favorite female empowerment musical. Oh, I can't think of anything off, off the top of my head. I can't think of one single... Oh, Can I suggest Priscilla one? Priscilla. Priscilla. Yeah. I suppose that's a female empowerment musical, yes. except their men dress up as well, females. But Bernadette. Oh. Hey, we don't Bernadette define though. anyone else's gender but us. Okay, we then. <laughs> okay. Do you think you could bench press James Snyder? No, I could probably bench press Andrew Keenan Bolger. <laughs> He's all muscle. He's all I muscle. Bench, I could bench press Margot Sibert. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Andrew Keenan Bolger. Oh my God! Hi, Patty and Emily. It's hi. Uncle Andrew. Uncle Andrew. Congratulations. Thank That's you wonderful. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do you feel like a whole new man? I feel like the best person alive. Cause. <laughs> Little William, Celia sent me a little video of him wishing me opening night, Aww. and actually I think he was pooping during it because he was like, <laughs> but adorable. Uh, yes. Well, congratulations! The show's fantastic. Thank you. I can't believe I'm seeing you guys back at Paper Mill because this is where I first discovered the incredible brand that is Patty and Emily. Thank you, Newsies. It all always comes back to Newsies for me. Doesn't it though? Yeah. I walked in and they were performing like a show choir version of Carrying the Banner. I was like, oh, for me. Amazing. Besides this show, what's your favorite female empowerment musical? A fun home? Yeah. You guys. I feel like a lot of people have given that answer, right? We've no? only asked, like, most people, a lot of people have said Evita, actually. Oh, sure. Yeah. No, I say fun home. It passes the Bechdel test, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this show is so great, too, because I feel like it is the feminist Cinderella. It's feminist for a new generation of young theater goers and especially young women in the audience. Yeah. Could you bench press James Snyder? No. <laughs> no, are you crazy? He I don't does know. he does for real pull-ups on the set before the show, like <sighs> like Hulk. I bet you could. Mm. I've, I've seen that. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable now. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. We didn't discuss this, Betty. Okay. <laughs> Crutchy! What? Hi, girl. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hey, it's nice to meet you, and thank you very much. And did you enjoy the show? Oh, we very loved much. it. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. It, was, it was fun. It's great to get it up in the air. Yeah. You know, it's like a lot of work, a lot of time, and, and, and energy, and talent, and now finally it's sort of floating, which is very exciting. So besides this show, what is your favorite female empowerment musical? My favorite female empowerment musical would be, uh, they haven't done a musical of Supergirl. Oh, that's an idea. Um, let me think. Um, I don't know. Well, you know, a good old classic, you know, Sound of Music isn't too bad. You go back to that. She kind of changes things around for that family. Um, uh, so I would think that was one of the first, in a way, of the sort of classic musicals. Well, actually, you, you know, go back to South Pacific. 
She's yeah. pretty uh, a powerful gal. Yeah, definitely. So, um, good uh, answers. Yeah, good answers. I don't even <laughs> thought of that. It's not a modern thing necessarily. No. Could you bench press James Snyder? Oh, with one finger. <laughs> Congratulations, Margo. The show's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Well, you're working really hard up there. We can see it. it it's a real... Your highness. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, <laughs> hey. Um, we're, we're having a... It's such a cool cast. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really honored to be up there with all these folks. And dancing and sword fighting. And yeah. It's a, it's a really fun, you know, a, a version of Cinderella to play around with. Besides this show, what's your favorite female empowerment musical? Oh, jeez. Um, favorite musical, female empowerment musical? I have no idea. I think, I think Rocky's the one. Rocky oh, Count? with Rocky. She That's totally really... Counts. Rocky. She yeah. yeah. With her love for Rocky. And she also sings a song called, I'm Done. Yep. And, yeah. and in this show, I sing a song called It's Done. Yeah. It's all, something about done. And I'm Done was like total female empowerment in Rocky. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I just love in both of these characters, they, you know, they have a turning point where it's, fi they finally get the chance to um, speak their mind, you know. Oh, okay. All right. no you tried. You tried. Uh, life on the internet. So, Thank you, Delcy. Did, oh, he's walked through our shot oh, before. That's true. <laughs> Did Andy Carl give you tips on how to pick up James Snyder? He did. Um, he said it had something to do with um, showing my my full uh, masculine strength, <laughs> and uh, and I and I did. Yeah. I pick him up. So. I thought you showed your feminine strength. Thank you. That too. Yeah. <laughs> I learned it from Rocky, and then I kind of interpreted it, and I, I brought it to the right. right. Well, congratulations. The show's great. Thank you so much. Hi, ladies. Congratulations. The show is fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Are you guys having fun? We're having so much fun. You can't even believe it. No. It's so much fun. Yeah. Have you been playing any pranks on the adults? Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. We do play jokes. We say jokes, jokes and stuff. Uh, yeah. We're like knock knock, you know those jokes. Yeah. yeah. We have fun with them. Yeah. We have so much fun. Do you think you could pick up James Snyder? Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm determined. In the pool. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, definitely. Because in the pool I could pick up my mom. Like that. So maybe in the pool we could pick James up. And guess how much my dad weighs and I could pick him up. How much? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, our dads, they oh, weigh a lot more than yeah. us, but we could pick them up in the pool. Yep, definitely. Strong ladies, just like Danielle. Yeah, we're strong. Yeah, yeah, we're super strong and feisty and powerful. And we have sword fights yeah. and all sorts yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Who run the world? Girls. Girls. Girls rule. Girls rule. Boys rule. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, ladies. Thank you. you know what? I will honestly say, I don't. I I think that this show is kind of changing the way that things that we're showing women. I mean, there are other examples out there, but I really think that Ever After, like, every female in this show is really strong and really, they've just written the characters in a way that's, I think, really new and fresh, and I think that's kind of cutting edge and exciting. Yeah. That's what happens when you have a female creative team. There you go, which has oh. been really awesome. Yeah. Well, he's right behind you, but do you think you could bench press James Snyder? 100%. I could take James any day. Yeah. Any day. <laughs> Well, congratulations. The show is fabulous. We loved it. <laughs> congratulations. The show is amazing. We loved it. Thank you. Besides this show, what's your favorite female empowerment musical? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, well, I, I really got to go kind of with If Then, yeah. uh, since I just came off of it, you know, and uh, I'm still kind of living in that world of all my great friends that I made on that show. So, yeah. If Then. And, and it, it, it's actually kind of similar the way they're like, I think the message of, of Ever After and If Then was both like it's it's within this lead woman to change the world, I, I think. I mean, you know, and, and they both like have that strength. Which, what I think is interesting is like in, in this, Cinderella is the one who sort of 
looks at the prince and says, you can be more. If you want to be king, you can do more, you know. And if then she was a bit more like, what do I do? You know, and it was more about her. But uh, um, I'm very lucky to have been a part of, uh, of this, uh, of If Then and Ever After. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it's great. Well, we've been asking everyone if they can bench press you. Could you bench press your own weight? Uh, yeah. 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 Bet not a lot, but yeah. 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 Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's taken a few months to get there, but uh, you, you know. could pick yourself up if you had to to I save could. yourself. I could almost. I'm always amazed. Every time I, Margot picks me up in the show, I'm always like, "Are you? I, it did, I didn't hurt anything. anything. We did it one time. We did it, and I had my keys in my pocket during like a rehearsal, and I was like, "Oh!" And she was like, "What was that?" And I was like, "I am so sorry." So no keys when you're picking someone up. Make sure they don't have keys in their, their pockets. Good tip. From Broadway Does that count? Well, the thing is, of course it does. Any show that has a strong independent lady or strong women is a female empowerment musical. Yeah. What are yours? Legally Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Into the Woods. It's a good one. Yeah. Good oh, one. what, Baker's Wife? Yeah, Baker's yeah. Wife, That's Little Rat, Cinderella. Absolutely. Lots of female empowerment. Of, I never thought of it. Yeah. 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 We're, We're changing, expanding minds. I'm learning German and learning about shows on the Patty yeah. and Emily show.